Hello everybody. Today we'll learn the difference between sound power level and sound pressure level. Sound power level, as the name suggests, it has got something to do with power. By definition, it is the acoustical energy emitted by a sound source. It is an absolute value. It doesn't depend on the environmental conditions or the distance, and it can only be calculated and not be measured. For example, consider a speaker. A speaker is a source of sound. It, em it emits constant sound waves of, co of constant energy, hence it is an absolute value. It doesn't depend on the environmental conditions, you know, no matter if it's hot or cold, the speaker is still emitting the same sound waves. And again, it's not, it's independent of distance, you know, no matter how far away the speaker is or how close it is to you, it is still emitting the same sound waves. In order to compute the sound power level of a speaker, this is the equation we gotta use. You know, you gotta plug in the power in watts of the speaker over the reference power, which is 10 over negative 12 watt, and you know, plug it in and you can get the sound power level of a speaker. In contrast, what is sound pressure level? Sound pressure level, it is a pressure disturbance in the atmosphere. So, you know, it's the exact opposite. It is not an absolute value. It's not constant because it depends on the environmental conditions, the distance, and, you know, although it can be computed, you know, there are lots of variables, it's a little complicated, but it can be easily measured using a microphone. For example, let's consider an observer, let's say Bob. Now, consider the speaker being switched on. What Bob is going to hear is, a, is the pressure fluctuations created by the speak, diaphragm of the speaker. So what Bob's going to register is a sound pressure level. You know, like this is the equation for the sound pressure level. Now again, like this is the pressure as registered by Bob and this is the reference pressure and you divide it and you get it. But Bob will be better off, you know, like using a microphone to just register the sound pressure level. Here's an interesting case. You know, let's say Bob moves, moves very close to the speaker. You know, Bob may register, like, you know, perceive loud noise. And let's say Bob moves farther away from the speaker. Bob may perceive subjectively less noise. Now, what's happening here is the change in sound pressure level and not the sound power level. The sound power level is still the same, you know, because the speaker is the same and the source of power is the same. So when Bob's moves farther away or moves closer, it is a sound pressure level or is it, it is the pressure fluctuations that is creating this effect. So that is the main fundamental difference between these two quantities. I hope you understood it and you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.